What up guys? I am almost to my destination here. I'm actually up on the Michigan shoreline this morning. I'm gonna fish with a buddy of mine, Rerun. I haven't fished with in a long time. We're gonna go out on his boat. Uh, he's got a 31 Tierra. And we're gonna go out and try to troll some walleye up here um, on Western Lake Erie. And the deal is this year, from what I hear, is that uh, we get a lot of small fish, a lot of small, just undersized two-year-old fish. So the trick is gonna be catching some keepers. Uh, we're probably gonna be doing some trolling. So we're probably gonna have to weed through a lot of small walleye and maybe some other stuff and uh, try and get some keepers. But hopefully we can get some up over 15 and uh, have a good day. It blew pretty hard yesterday. The wind's starting to lay off now. So looks like it's gonna be a good day. See, we're only starting off at about 20 feet of water, but the fish were definitely on the feed, and we probably could have caught them on about anything. But uh, what we're rigged up with here and what we're setting out is some number 40 true trip divers with about six to eight feet of 12 to 15 pound fluorocarbon with just a little snap swivel and a Michigan Stinger Scorpion spoon. Now these little scorpions are only a two and a quarter inch spoon. They're a real light little flutter spoon. So you need that diver to uh, get it down to the depth you want. Now you could use a Lure Jensen jet diver in the number 40 size as well. Um, some people prefer those. Some people like these true trips. They both work. Um, but all in all, this uh, diver spoon setup is, is just a really user-friendly setup and it just flat out puts walleye in the boat and you're going to see that in this video. Um, if you're just starting out trolling, it's a really user-friendly setup. Um, it's not as speed sensitive, so if you're going a little hot, um, these aren't going to roll out on you like a stick bait would. Uh, the stick baits have gained a lot of popularity lately, like the Bandits, Flicker Shed, Flicker Minnows, and those work great too. Um, but this uh, diver spoon setup is, is really, really good. So you're going to see here, um, we're going to be weeding through some smaller fish, uh, these 2019 year class fish were really prevalent so we got that's actually a good sign we got great fishing to come over on Erie all these little walleye out there but we're gonna end up throwing a lot back I don't even know how many we caught because I didn't put them all in the video but uh, it was basically non-stop action and we caught our limit of uh, 12 fish over 15 inches and actually just under an hour and that was just running three rods we have one down the chute one on each corner just flatlining them 45 back which is uh, putting us just off bottom in that 20 foot. Our hot spoon color was kind of a pinkish purple down the middle with dark sides and I believe it's called Purple Demon and I will post a link in the description to the scorpions and the true trips that we're using and if you guys have any other questions uh, just let me know in comments and there is a lot of wind noise it was still pretty breezy out there but uh, hopefully you guys will be able to hear all right. Little guy. You got a better one? I can get the net. Oh yeah, you got a good one, dude. Nice. Hey, there we go on that one too. Billy got a big boy. Mark it, mark the spot. Man, Man over the way for it. I can't hop over, I'm too old. <laughs> this is a good one too, I think. Ah, he's smaller. Eh, he's not too bad. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like a decent. Oh, snap! Guess not. That's a netter, baby. 
I think. Oh, I don't know. He's probably close. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah, wait, is it still there? Yeah, it's there. Oh. It, tri it tripped the jet. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's there. Oh, yeah. That's a big goat of the day there so far. Oh, it's a lovely girl. What's that one called? Purple Demon. It's the hot one right now. Purple demon. It's a high spoon, man. Feels better. She's a heavy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's a jet sinker. I gotta play this one easy. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, that's a better one. <laughs> nice. Get the spoon turn. There we go. Uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> yup. Yeah, that's a good one, man. Nice. And a spoon pop right when you netted them. I love that. Perfect. Got him? Ooh, that's nice. That is a nice one. Too. That one ain't bad. Get him, Rick Rod. Don't pass him. Oh, he's gonna tap him. That's a keeper, baby. <laughs> you mean cat dog? Oh. I don't remember those, man. When we were tuna fishing with Howard? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> No, I don't have those anymore. If I ever had them, I don't have them anymore. Oh, you got them. All right. It's a fat girl. Boy. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Spoons out. 
first one. You boy, Shocker. Oh, I'm about to have just for fun. Thirteen and a half. Oh, that's no, a, that's no, an no, eye, no, dude. Up. Yep, that's an eye. I'm keep this one out of the way here. This one's short. Ooh, yeah. This one get a fish? Or that's just in the prop wash? That's I thought in the that prop wash. Oh I man, it's, been a, it's been a while. It's been a while. I just was laughing when you did that sucker just hit the prop wash and I wasn't thinking it. buried itself. Oh, that one too. That's right. Yeah, that one's in the prop wash. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Yours look better than mine, I don't know. Is that a good one? Yeah, about the same. Oh. It was probably close, man. Measure this one. February, yeah. You could take the whole month of February off, probably. <clears throat> oh, he's a keeper. Like, if you're able to. That one's legit, baby. Okay. Oh my god, that was a very good one. Because you're already fishing 100 feet now. Yep. Yeah. Want me to leave it in? Put it back yeah, out. Yep. Ski man's Oh, that other one just got hit too. 